Hi, Greg Lewis, Metastock Software. Hey, you're about to watch one of the great presentations from our recent online trader summit. I know you're going to enjoy it. If you do not yet have Metastock, make sure you visit metastock.com slash traders dash summit three for one for a great three for one offer for Metastock plus market data. Also, make sure to listen to Jeff Gibby at the end of today's presentation. He has a really great offer. It's very exciting and I know you're gonna uh, wanna hear it. Uh, finally, make sure to leave us some feedback. We always wanna hear your feedback and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much and successful trading. So there we go. Uh, we're doing it even better. Uh, Rick Sadler is up next. Uh, Rick and I, um, uh, Rick, the, I will tell you, uh, is uh, fancies himself as a guitar player and a uh, very, very down to earth guy. Uh, also uses candlesticks, uh, which uh, is his way of kind of looking at charts. Has some pretty good setups that he's going to talk to you about. Uh, today, the, uh, his subject is going to be called Growing a Small Account with Short Term Trends. So, I'm going to go ahead and bring uh, Rick on here. Uh, Rick, I just turned, uh, uh, well, looks like you're muted, uh, so I can't turn on your mi micro microphone. But, uh, uh, all I'm right. Now, Jeff. Yeah. So on a scale of one to 10, uh, how is your guitar skills? It's a good thing that I'm a better <laughs> trader. <laughs> so you're not going to be quitting your day job? No, I am not. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, uh, make... I, I can play a chord or two. I uh, see here. I can play a song or two. A song or two. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm seeing uh, your screen, but I'm seeing the preview mode. How's that right there? Can you see online trader summit Metastock? Mm -hmm. And on the side of it, I can see like the preview slide. So on the side of it, I can see. There you go. There we go. Okay. All, All right. right. Perfect. Uh, the floor is yours. <laughs> Thank you. A guitar player. That's actually kind of funny. Um, <laughs> hey, I want to, uh, for those that don't know, my name is Rick Sadler, and I am so honored uh, to be here and to have Metastock and Jeff invite me and to be, you know, with, with a group like uh, uh, Steve or Vince and Barry, uh, Rob coming up. I, I, I just... I feel so honored, so thank you so very much. I appreciate it. Okay, um, whoops, too much, too quick. Well, let's just get to it. All right, um, I've got a project that I started uh, first of the year. I started the project a little bit preparing for it, and then I started, I actually went live on the project uh, in January. And I'm gonna talk about this a little bit more. This is my two, 2018 project. One of the things that I do, um, can you hear me okay, Jeff? I want to be sure here. You sound like an angel to me. Okay, great. Because I, I wasn't sure which mic I was using, and uh, now I don't have a headset on, so you're really going to have to bang me against the head to find me. Um, so every year I start out uh, with a goal um, to improve my own personal trading and to help improve uh, members of Hit Run Candlesticks or Right Way Options. And uh, this year, my goal, uh, which I'm going to talk about this a bit more here, but this is, my, this is my project, my goal for 2018. And we will get to this in just a second. A quick little disclaimer. This pretty much says that, you know, trading is not for everybody. Uh, it really is not. And, and I mean that. I, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Some people just cannot trade. There are some, uh, there's something inside some people, the, the, the risk issue, uh, you know, out there putting money, hard, cold money uh, out there. It just, it's just hard for them to do it. So uh, be very careful when you're, when you're trading, only trade with money you can afford to lose. Uh, never trade with your rent money, your car payment money. Never, ever do that. Uh, so uh, remember, your family comes first. So uh, don't 
don't trade with money that your family needs. You trade with extra money. Uh, and it's always easy to dig up some extra money. You just have to be a little bit, a um, uh, little ingenuity there, and, and a person can do it. And I don't mean rob banks, so don't go do that. And remember, always consult a financial advisor uh, before making a trade. All righty. A few little topics and buzzwords that you might hear from me today is uh, I'm going to show you some chart patterns I use. In fact, that's what Metastock uh, actually does, and it alerts you to those chart patterns. So I'm going to show you those chart patterns. Um, I'm going to show you why Metastock uh, alerts are so important. A few buzzwords you might hear me say is the T-line, uh, naked charts, support and resistance, the V-stop, trend, uh, trends with benefits. How's that? How's that? My partner with Right Way Options came up with that quote, and I couldn't stand it. I had to use it today. And price is king, and always be a student of price. Always be a student of price. So this this thing here uh, in red, it says $800 short of 200% profit in five months. What that is is my project for 2018. What I did was um, I come I came to a place where some new software and whatnot. We don't need to go into that really, but I decided to not trade my larger account, my my trading account, and I decided to open up a small account, an account typical. Uh, for traders just starting out, uh, even for traders that have a lot of money, many times they will put uh, $5,000 in the account. And that's what I did. I opened up an account for $5,000. And um, as of the close yesterday, as of the close yesterday, I am $800 short from being up 200% in five months. So January 1 to yesterday, which was what, 516. So five and a half months, actually. Um, members have already seen uh, my statements. I'm not holding anything back. Uh, in fact, you're going to see uh, that I think that second slide was actually part of a statement. And then I'm going to show you a couple other uh, statements coming up. Uh, so I want I want everyone to know that it's for real. It's not makeup. Uh, it's it's my 2018 uh, project that I'm doing here. Um, so a, a little bit about about us. Um, personally, I have 30 years trading experience. Um, I provide uh, I provide for my family. Uh, my wife does work, uh, but I you know I provide for my family. I provide fun toys, life responsibilities. That's important for a trader to get to. Uh, that well, I think that's what we all kind of want to get to. Some traders only want or only care uh, about uh, maybe maybe trading for some fun, maybe trading for some extra toys, things like that. Um, I personally started out, uh, honestly, probably started out with this one and then this turned into all these others. Uh, my goal when I first started was to trade for a living and uh, this be my full-time job. Um, I am the founder, uh, creator, owner of Hit Run Candlesticks. Uh, soon you will see something called Trade With Me. That will be coming out soon. I am the creator of the T-Line. I am the creator of the T-Line. I've taught several thousand people around the world and a few educators, actually, uh, how to use the T-Line, about the T-Line. Um, uh, so if you have any questions, I'd be glad to help with that a little bit. Uh, I use something called a PBO, which is a pullback opportunity. You you might see RBB. In fact, you'll see RBB on the uh, uh, charts today, I think. Uh, and it stands for rounded bottom breakout. I have a specific rounded bottom breakout uh, strategy I use. And then the pinball setup, uh, I use the T-line a lot for that. In fact, it was the pinball setup and the T-line kind of together that uh, moved me from uh, a hobbyist to trading for a living. Um, so 
this 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 actually is a uh, very near and dear to my heart. Uh, I find I probably don't trade as many pinball setups anymore uh, as I probably should, uh, but uh, it is an extremely good setup, especially if you like trading off the bottom, uh, which I tend not. I've 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 grown. I've pulled away from bottom picking things like that, uh, but. Uh, the pinball setup in the T-line is what uh, launched me into trading for a living. A uh, little bit more about us. We have a division called Right Way Options, a division called Trader Vision. You can catch us on the social media, YouTube, Facebook, Stock Twitch, Twitter. We also have a smartphone app and we have website alerts. Uh, so that, that's just a little bit about us right there. I do want to take a minute here and I want to shout out to uh, seven. I actually added it up. Uh, I I didn't know exactly, <laughs> surprisingly, but there are some people around um, uh, in the background of of Hit Run Candlesticks Right Way Options Trader Vision, and uh, I just want to make sure that uh, I say thank you to all of them because if it weren't weren't for them, um, it it none of this would happen. There's a there's 17. I, I was very surprised. Uh, some people that just simply do um, work for us in the background, uh, maintenance, things like that. But without them, our service would not have grown or become what it is today. So for me, to all you guys, you know who you are. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All righty. So uh, we're going to, I'm just going to fly over this real quick because we're going to talk about this a little bit later. A few little bonus material you're going to get today is you will be receiving a PDF copy of my presentation. Uh, I think um, Jeff is going to see to it you receive a recording uh, from me personally. You will also receive a uh, ebook, uh, uh, continuation ebook that I have, and you will also be receiving a free 30-day trial to uh, HRC, which is Hit and Run Candlesticks, and Right Way Options (RWO). And for three days, if you're interested in a 50% discount to our uh, annual service. You have to email me. We'll talk about that in a little bit later. Okay, so let's start with this project and then we're going to get into looking at some charts. So the 2018 project, like I said, was to kind of go back to where I started. And I did start with this. In fact, I think, I mean, I'm not bashful about it. I'm not ashamed of it. Uh, I, I honestly think most traders are probably in this boat, but a lot don't tell you, uh, um, but I actually, uh, I've blown my account up years ago, young into trading before I knew really what was going on and really what to do, uh, and I've blown it up. I've had to start over a couple of times with about that much money. Now, um, I actually put, I actually ended up putting, starting this account with $5,100. So $5,100, I started this account. I did start it in, uh, I think I opened it in late November is when I opened it, but I didn't do anything. Uh, I was too busy doing other things, but I started this project January 1. I just got prepped for it. I did make, you know, a little trade. Uh, you, you can see that because we're up a little bit, uh, but I actually made a, another trade or two that actually lost money, but I ended up you know, up a couple hundred bucks here. So, and um, what I have now, this is the end of February. Uh, um, yeah, end of February. Uh, and you you can see the account has grown, uh, doubled it uh, from May, from February, I'm sorry, from January 1 to uh, the end of February, uh, it was doubled. And then, um, and I actually, I don't have the May. I, in, in about two weeks, I will have a May uh, statement and members will all see it. Everybody will see it. Uh, but I expect it to be a 15,000 plus. So that that gives me a pretty nice little little uh, uh, increase there uh, in the statement. So in about two weeks, uh, when the statement is out, I will be uh, posting this to members so they can see it. So it's it it's been an interesting project because when you have when you have um, a pretty good size uh, account it's it can be very trading can be forgiving um, and uh, 
you know, you can make some bad trades and you can kind of make up for it. I, I call it the Buffett effect, not, not to, not to pick, not to pick on Mr. Buffett at all, but when you have that kind of money, you can pretty much buy anything you want. And if it, you know, if it craps on you, um, eh, okay, you'll make it up somewhere else. That is a benefit of having a lot of money. Um, I don't have that much money, but a pretty good sized trading account. So when I, when I decided to do this, when I decided to do this, um, to try it, believe me, I was nervous. Uh, I was very nervous because uh, I, I made this vocal to all our members that I was going to attempt this. So if it, if it blew up in my face, everyone knew it. I mean, it, it, so anyway, you know where I'm going with that. That could have been disaster. Well, it's turning out pretty good, but I have had to learn a few things over again. I have had to do that. So um, uh, anyway, I, I think there's a qu question here uh, using futures or options. Uh, I've been using options for this. And by the way, just a little bit about that. Uh, by the way, I, I encourage questions, okay? So please, please, please uh, feel free to ask questions. Um, I've traded for 30 years. Uh, I've never traded an option in my life. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Um, I'm 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 a real old fashioned kind of person. Um, I love electronics, but I hate electronics. You know, I don't like how automated everything is going. I like going to the checkout stand in the grocery store. I don't like checking myself out. Um, I I'm really getting discouraged with some of the bigger banks because they're doing away with their banks. I like to go into the bank. I don't want to take a picture of my check. I want the reason is I sit in a chair all doggone day. My job is sitting here, so I enjoy getting out of the house sometimes. So I want to go to the bank. Well, what I'm trying to get to here is, is options were always too hard for me to do. In fact, the only options I've traded, the only, is just simply calls and puts, directional options, nothing fancy. Believe me. Like I said, I, a little bit old-fashioned. Um, I don't want to go out there and learn all that stuff, at least not right now uh, in my life. Uh, I, I'm 60 years old and uh, I have a Harley. I love a Harley. As Jeff says, I play the guitar not very well, though. OK, I write a Harley much better and I trade much better than I write a Harley. Uh, but uh, uh, so anyway, that is how I've done it. And. Uh, like I said, I, I come clean with the members all the time with it. And uh, uh, so let, let's move on here. Let's get past this. Um, so here's a few facts uh, about trading. Just a few. There, there's a lots of facts about trading, but just a few I thought were kind of interesting. And just the mood I'm in, I guess. Do you know that all traders can, can uh, be successful in a trading business? All traders can be, but not all are you know you have to ask yourself why is that and there are a few answers why why that is um we'll, we'll maybe talk a little bit about that um yes you can have I, and I, you know the reason i wrote this is i sent out an email uh to uh, uh a few people here this past week and somebody wrote me back and said what no losers and I said, well, read the email. I mean, I did. I wrote back, read the email. Of course, I had losers on there. I, I pointed them out, the losers. Um, so I thought this was kind of important. Yes, you can have 60 to 70 percent uh, winners. And you know what? This is this is probably the most common as far as winning goes, you know, successful traders. You get more, you get over 70 percent and just be careful what you listen to. OK, be careful what you listen to. Uh, I'm not saying it. I'm not saying that other traders don't have over 70 percent. I'm, I'm not saying that at all. It's it just be careful. Um, you know, if you start hearing things like, uh, you know, here, don't get fooled or suckered with, you know, somebody's had 100 winners in the past, you know, 100 days. Uh, that's a load of poo. Uh, that just that's a load of poo. That, that's not true. Um, we all have losers and don't kid yourself. Uh, boy, I, I have I, I have plenty of losers because there is not a person in the world that 
makes a, a stock pick perfect every time. It just doesn't happen. Uh, and all the guys on today will tell you that. I'm confident. I know each and every one of these guys. I've met each and every one of them. I know each and every one of them. I have, the res I have respect for each and every one of them. And all speakers today will tell you that, that yeah, of course they have losers. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, a few winning considerations to think about is trade management. Everybody talks about money management. Money management is this this like, oh, I gotta have to have money management. How about some trade management? You know, let's do something a little different. Trade management. Uh, Win-loss management. Make sure your win-loss management is, is right. You know, follow that. Make that a goal. If that's not your goal, make that a goal. Uh, I'm very goal in irritated. Ir <laughs> irritated. I'm very goal uh, motivated. <laughs> um, chart reading. Look, all the indicators in the world are not going to make anyone a better a better trader. Um, it's it's the ability to read a chart, and price is king. It's price that gets you there. Indicators can can uh, 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 gives confirmation, absolutely great confirmations. Um, I I I have I I talk about something. Uh, I'm just going to uh, C for conditions and an R for reasons. And the reason is pushing the button. But you have to have several conditions to equal a reason. Uh, here's an example here. You, you, you have a chart that is moving up. Uh, it moves down. It moves up. And it comes back and makes a, um, a double bottom. Well, is a double bottom a reason to buy? Or is a double bottom a condition? To me, that is a condition. It is nowhere even close to a reason to buy. There are other conditions you need, and indicators might help you with that. Uh, candlesticks, I love candlesticks. They are a condition. So, and here's another thing too. Stock trading is a business. Um, it is a business. If, if you don't think it is, well, you're probably not making money. I'm not going to lie to you. And in any business, any business that's successful and continues to grow, the owners of those businesses are doing education, some sort of education. They might be, you know, a biz, uh, 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 they, they might be doing education about advertising or education about new products they're going to put on their shelves or, you know, computer education, uh, new they get they get a new phone system, so they have to go through the education process. A trader is exactly the same way. You must you must have um, uh, continued education. Uh, let's see, uh, Joanne. Absolutely, I am gonna I'm I am gonna do something about uh, we're we are gonna look at charts. Um, we are and and Joanne, I hope you understand what I'm about to say. And I'm not going to pick on you here. This is not picking on you, but this is the kind of stuff that struggling and new traders need long before they ever look at a chart. That's why traders don't succeed. That's why there's an awful lot of traders that do not succeed is because they just want to jump into charts and they simply just want to make money with no clue where their backside is, none whatsoever. So as you may be one of the best traders here, I think we ought to respect the traders that, that um, are struggling maybe, traders that are brand new and they need to understand that, that there's more to trading than just downloading a charting program and spending money on it. That is a recipe for losing. So I hope you understand that. All right. So with that, let's look at some charts. Now, if you, um, this is a program that I have with uh, uh, Metastock. And I just want to give a little kind of synopsis of what, what these moving, moving, uh, moving averages are. And let's do this right here. So the uh, three EMA, which you will not see that on any charts of mine today, 
because I, uh, I rarely use that anymore. I do use it for scanning quite often, but I don't need to have it on a chart. Uh, the 8 EMA, that's the black line. That's what we call the T line right there, the T line. And th that is probably the, the single, oh, the single one indicator that, that uh, I was able to go to my wife years ago and say, honey, I really want to try this full time. And it was because of this. I mean, she could care less what this is, but it was because of this moving average that helped me out so much, so much. Uh, the 34, which actually, to tell you the truth, I think this is set up as the 20, but um, I, I didn't realize that until I had some charts clip. But I think this is actually comes on as the, the uh, 20, but it's supposed to be the 34. Uh, but either way, you won't see it on too many charts. And then this is the 50-day simple moving average right here. And this one way down there, that's the 200 simple and this is the 200 front weighted measured on the low that is right there. These two moving averages, you'll find that I have them on all intraday charts, all intraday charts. In fact, that's all I need on the intraday charts. These two, I think, are extremely important for the intraday. All right, a uh, question there. Uh, why the 8 EMA and not the 10 EMA? Um, let me, well, Long story short, long story short, I had to, was not a very good trader at one time, and I had to figure out a way to trade. And what I did is I ended up putting a lot of indicators on a chart. And back in that, those days, I used indicators. I put a lot of indicators on a chart. I started flipping through charts, and then I started just looking at them. I quit looking for trades. I started looking at just the chart. And then what happened was I realized, well, that moving average didn't do anything. That indicator didn't tell me anything, so I eliminated it. Well, I came out with the with the with the eight. Okay, that's that's the one. That and the 34 EMA are the two that have stuck since day one. Uh, you know, when I finally decided to truly become a trader. And if you'll if you'll notice, you could probably use the 10. Uh, Ram, I, I, you know, I don't think there's going to be any big difference uh, if you use the 10, nor is there any big difference if you use the six, probably. What you're trying to do is you're trying to get a moving average that that tends to follow the bottoms going up and tends to follow the tops going down. That's what you're what's what you're doing. Um, also, this is something very important to keep in mind. If I could imprint it on top of the screen right now, I would. It's not the moving average or the indicator that is doing anything for you. It's how you use, it's how you use the moving indicator or the uh, uh, moving average. So I think if you wanted to use the 10 EMA, I don't think the world's going to come to an end. I think it worked just fine for you. Okay. So. Let's see, uh, Rick, do you find VWAP? No, I do not. I do not use VWAP. Uh, currently, I have a month left in scripts and the right way options. Can I take advantage of the free chart? We'll talk about that later. Uh, what does 200 Wi-Fi? Oh, it's front weighted. It's front weighted moving average. And Jeff can help you set that up if you need it. But the package comes with that already on there. It's front weighted measured on the low is what it is. Um, that's funny because after uh, tinkering last several weeks, I fell in love with a nine. Yeah, close enough. Yeah. And it works on all time frames. All right. How would you guys like to have help finding setups? Anybody here? Go ahead. Say yes if you want. If you want, if you don't, say no. But how many would help like help finding setups? You bet you, you would. All right. And that's that's where that's one of the things that. Um, um, Metastock shines right there. It, it shines. I mean, you just saw, you just saw uh, what three other presenters and they showed you uh, setups, right? Well, that's what this does. And uh, RBB stands for rounded bottom breakout. PB stands for uh, pinball. Uh, TLB, 
T-line bounce and TLS T-line swing. So it has a lot to do with this T-line. Uh, later on, you're going to see charts that I don't even have moving averages up there, but we're still going to see the indicators. That is my favorite chart of all, a naked chart. So when we start, oh, here's another thing too. Look, I can, if I was to say uh, TIVA, this is TIVA, T-E-V-A, if I could say TIVA was a buy, um, if Tiva was, I, if I if I was to say Tiva was a buy right here, and you could not tell me how, then you have no business, or how or why, then you have no business trading. I'm, you guys are going to find that I'm, I I don't hold and cuddle people. I'm not a cuddler. Um, you know, you're spending your hard earned money, so I think it's important for people to be honest and not, uh, uh, you know cuddle you, blow smoke up your skirt, that sort of thing, you know, tell you, oh, it's going to be fine, buy it, buy it, buy it, things like that. So you'll find that I'm not a cuddler. Uh, so, and you probably already saw that uh, on one of my earlier comments already. So um, what you want to be able to do is also understand chart patterns and charts. So I think this is wonderful, but honestly, you need you need something else as well. You need to recognize that that's a flag right there. You need to understand what consolidation patterns are, and I love consolidation patterns. So here we have where we're starting to trigger the RBB, and what it is is when a stock has been in a downtrend and it starts to come over the 50-day simple moving average. It's exactly what it is. The 200-day simple moving average is always the target direction, always the target direction. The takeaway here is the word direction, not target, okay? New traders, struggling traders, don't fall into that trap. It's the direction, all right? So when we start seeing RBB flashing, that's the time to get very serious about this trade. And this is where you want to start looking at uh, candlestick signals, maybe. I love candlestick signals. They tell you a lot about price action and what other people are doing. Um, that's all trading is, is outsmarting other traders. That's all. So here we have a nice little bullish Hiromi that gaps up and notice how we stay above support. That's another thing to, that we need to know that there's no magic in and this alert, if you don't know, that, if you don't have the magic skills or the skills for the other magic, like support and resistance, you have to put it all together to be successful. And, you know, we have a breakout here. So we broke out of resistance. We pull, we, we run up, we pull back to support. We still see an RBB flashing. That gives us that clue that it's a buy. You know, uh, recognize things like a. Let me make that bigger. Recognize uh, a flag, for instance. When you see that flag and you see a bullish engulf, you see it on the T line. You see this this screaming RBB. Man, that's sweet. You know, you want to you want to be looking at that. But again, I mean, make sure you have lots of conditions out there before you think it's a reason. And that's where a little bit of education comes in. The This is what I call the dotted deuce. And this is the uh, 200 front weighted measured on the lows. Okay. I call it the dotted deuce. And at the dotted deuce, it is a very common place to see a little consolidation. It's extremely common. I mean, like I would bet grandma's house on it every single time. So, and consolidation is not a reason to sell. You may have other reasons to sell, but it's not necessarily a reason to sell. Um, and then when when the consolidation is over, notice how we have that flag right there. And notice how that flag is finding support right there. That My line is poor, but you get, you get the idea. And we've broken out, and look where we come to, right to the 200. Now, does that happen every time, by the way? No, it doesn't. And I'm not... I'm not Picking and choosing charts, by the way, these are charts that either I have been in or our members have been in recently. Uh, I didn't go back and cherry pick charts. Uh, 
uh, I just looked at charts that I know people have been in uh, from hit and run candlesticks or maybe right way options. So anyway, we've got a 50% possible trade. No way in the world am I suggesting that if you buy it here, you're going to collect all that money. Probably should make that green, hadn't I? There we go. There we go. No way in the world am I suggesting that. In fact, I, I find it highly, highly unlikely that that will happen. Extremely unlikely. Uh, not because anyone's a poor trader. It just simply... It's not typical of a swing trader. Oh, and that's nothing. I want you to know 100%. I want you to know right now I am 100% a swing trader, and I mostly use a daily chart. I love hourly charts. I love two-day, three-day, five-day charts. Nope, I do not like five-minute charts. Uh, don't care for 15-minute charts, uh, but I do like the hourly chart. Um, so a little, little bit more about me there. Um, whoops, there we go. Here is uh, Nike. Nike is a trade that uh, I closed out Nike, uh, well, today's Saturday. I, mu I must have closed it out earlier. Well, I closed it out on this candle right here. So Friday, Thursday, Wednesday uh, for 90, I'm going to say 95%. All right. Well, for reasons I'm not going to go into necessarily right now because lack of time, but it has a lot to do with my project. Be glad to explain it later, explain it to everyone in the trading room. So I closed it out and I said, hey, I'm going to wait for a pullback here um, because we have just now broken out of support. The likelihood of a pullback is very good. And how do I know that the pullback is going to stay bullish? I don't know that. So. Um, I got out of it. I collected my 90 plus, I think it was 95%, but I it's 90 something, okay? Now that it pulled back yesterday, I actually bought it back. I actually bought it back here because the bulls are starting to step in. Uh, so even a little bit of downside, as long as it stays above this line, I will uh, maybe even add more. Notice we had a TLS, T-line swing. What that is, is T-line swing low is what it is. And um, we've had the route. Well, actually, see here. Well, let me do this. I'm going to run out of time, aren't I? See, it with low to a high to a higher low around the T line has a lot to do with the T line. And then we went over it low, high, higher, low, higher, high. See how now if we, I'm going to change color. If we go low, high, higher, low, it did not make it. It came back, but it did not break that low. And then it actually tossed us a bullish engulf, and from there, we started moving up. Um, so nice job on Nike there. A lot of folks in the trading room took that. Um, here's AQMS. Look at, okay, charts, time is something very important. Um, traders, there's a place for all sorts of traders out there, and there's all sorts of educators that teach all sorts of types of trading. Uh, there's hundreds and hundreds of ways to skin a cat here and make some money in trading. What I do not do is look for the the hop and pops, you know, the the stocks that buy this today and boom, it's going to run tomorrow. It's not what I do. I look for stocks that can give us some strong double digit uh, numbers that have great potential. Doesn't mean they're gonna work out and it may take longer time for them to work out. An example is here, this was an RBB. We did great, I mean, if you bought it here, you made 40%, it rock and roll, didn't it? But it from there, it pretty much fizzled out to nothing. But it is still an RBB because it still meets the qualifications to from the 50 to the 200 uh, the 200 so we come down and you can see it drop back below and notice the rbb left the candlestick signals here no tags down there all of a sudden we're back over the 50 and the rbb started working again so we came we moved up and we went from here up to the 50 day simple close enough 50 percent trade um that might be today or Friday's close. I can't remember if that's Friday's close. 
Um, but if we look at this chart, understanding chart patterns um, really does help out because you can see here that you've got a nice wedge uh, being built. And it, you know, I probably could have went all the way over here, actually. And now it's started to break out. Well, that's a bullish sign. So you see how long it took this to get going. But outside of this little spot right here, it stayed that RBB. So it would have been a great chart for the watch list waiting for maybe that breakout right there. Or you might even be calling this the breakout, which I would actually call that the breakout. And look how this, this is a chart kind of hard to see with all this stuff on the chart. Uh, we call this a uh, pop out of the box right here. That's what that is, pop out of the box. And once it popped out, and this would have been the pop out candle, that's a buy and boom. So, you know, from here to here is 50%. So from here to here, eh, 45, 40% maybe. Uh, money that I think everyone would like. Let's see, um, John H., uh, perfect, perfectly picking tops and bottoms is a fool's game. Absolutely, sir. Yes, do you recall when and how you got it? No, I, I don't. Uh, no, I don't. When, how and when I got in Nike, no. Um, I actually, this is a funny story here. This this is a funny story because I started using a new program and I told you earlier that I hadn't traded options and I had help from uh, Doug at Right, right Way Options, one of the uh, divisions of Hit Run Candlestick. Um, <laughs> I called up the people of the program. I said, hey, your program is wrong. True story. This this is this is a true story. I said, your program is wrong. I'm up 400%. They got to look at it and said, no, Rick, you're right. <laughs> That's amazing. So so because of the round, this, and this is, I bought it because of this. It rounded bottom breakout. See how it made a nice rounded bottom here, which has nothing to do with the rounded bottom breakout. Just a nice price action rounded bottom and then well maybe it has a little bit to do with it and then it rallied up and notice the chart pattern we went from lows to a high to a higher low to a higher high and notice on this pullback we stayed above the 50. we're getting all kinds of signals here hey look this is an rbb pattern you've got a flag Man, get involved. I got involved. I sold up here, right there. And um, it, it's knowing the chart patterns. And when you can have a program like Metastock um, show you the chart patterns, tell you what they are, that is, that is just, uh, man, that's like having a personal assistant all the time. Uh, what I consider, yeah, you could consider that a cup and handle, sure. Cup and handle, cup and handle can be anywhere on a chart. Uh, you know, it, it's a bigger dip and a smaller dip is all it is. But yeah, so there's a bigger dip or longer dip, I should say, and then you get that continuation pattern. Absolutely, you could have done that. The trick is being notified of it, and this notifies you of it. Um, PBO. PBO stands for pullback opportunity. And, uh, you know, Vince, uh, I, I was kind of listening in on Vince there. And, you know, Vince was talking about the 20-day simple moving average and momentum and, and moving up. Man, I got to tell you, he, he's so good and he's so right. Um, but if you have a trending stock, my, my theory of a trending stock is, is that a stock that's trending will continue to trend until it no longer trends. Of course, you have to know, know when the trend is broken, but that's a different day maybe. Um, but when you have a stock that's trending and you have a pullback like this right here, well, I guess I have it marked, see there, pullback, uh, support. When, when you have that, you have a pullback opportunity. This is opportunity. It, it always amazes me how many people look at this as bearishness. That's not bearishness, or because maybe you bought the maybe you bought the chart right here, 
and it rallied up and it didn't it didn't just uh, keep going it pulled back so you were bummed out get used to that it's going to happen don't let that bother you learn to 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 understand what the chart is doing and you do that with price action and you do that with having some of these rules like maybe that trending 20 i'm all for that you know have that tw trending 20 trending 34 we use that one a lot and i use a 20 trending as well but when you have a stock that's trending and it just makes a light pullback uh, i'm not into fib lines very much uh, i am a little bit uh, enough to know that if it pulls back to above the 23 uh, percent i'm good to go with it i mean it's to me that's a sweet that's money making pullback there and then all of a sudden we start we put in the low a doji spinning top and look at this right here that is a signal to get back in this chart and there you go up you go not a sell signal one in there uh, you might have taken profits just because profits were there but uh, look how it started as a rounded bottom breakout so money could have been made from here to the 200 you could have kept it or sold it you could have gotten a new chart a new trade uh, here on this little consolidation and then follow through or maybe on this pullback after we had a big run up lots of places in this chart to maybe make some money um all right look trend with benefits um a trending chart is is your your best friend by far and uh uh, that's where the money is made. You'll find that I'm not a bottom picker. I'm not into buying down here. Uh, I'm not into buying down here and thinking it's going to go up here because I've learned over 30 years I'm not going to buy it here and keep it up here. I know that. It's not my style. So what we want to do is we want to look for trends and trends, you know, young trends. I think Barry was talking about young trends uh, a little bit. And then uh, we look for pullbacks. As the trend moves up, we look for consolidations. So know what a pullback is. And uh, with Metastock, when you're in that pullback and it starts moving up, it starts alerting you that, hey, the pullback might be over now. Because it doesn't start alerting till the, till the bulls start stepping in just a little bit. Again, no guarantee it's going to work out, but it's, it's alerting you that this chart needs to be considered. And then consolidation, which pullback consolidation, same thing. Minor consolidation, uh, learn chart patterns, learn what wedges are, pennants, uh, little cup and handles, J-hook continuation patterns, uh, ABC, one, two, three moves, things like that. Uh, PBO, rest, same, all these are the same. All these, you can call them what you want, but it's the same thing. It's a trending chart that pulls back and forms some sort of uh, chart pattern. The, the, the chart pattern might be, you know, a little pennant maybe. Uh, the chart pattern might be uh, a J-hook continuation pattern. The chart pattern might be just a flag. But learn those chart patterns. And then you'll find when you add the alerting system uh, that Metastock has, it starts alerting you that, hey, there's something going on here that fits the criteria for uh, this program. And then, then you can get those swings. Okay, here's a naked chart. And naked charts are, these are the bomb, I think. Uh, personally, take, take all the junk off the charts and drop them, get rid of them. Uh, I know it's hard to do, but when you take all the junk off the chart and you keep things like this is an RBB alert, all you have to do is be a study of price. That's all you have to do is study price. And when you study price, you will learn where and when to buy. You'll learn that you can buy in here if you want, or you can buy here. You'll learn that um, you can buy uh, on these type of chart patterns or that type of chart pattern. Now that one never gave you an alert, so it just didn't meet some piece of the criteria, but this gave you an alert and look at it rock and roll. 
Here's another naked chart, CLNE. We see a chart that's moving sideways and it's giving us that RBB reading. So if you bought it here and it didn't take off, would it have hurt in anything to stay with it? You know, you, you probably get bored and tired. Most traders do. I, I do sometimes get bored and tired. And, you know, I want some action. Well, you know, follow the chart pattern. The action will come. And now look at that action. And if you're waiting for a breakout buy, it's still reading RBB after the flag breakout. And then that would have been a no-brainer sell it on this day. I mean, gaps are gifts. Nate, you're in the bucks right there. So that to me, that's a no-brainer to get rid of it. Um, MRO. Look how it consolidated and it started listing, uh, reading or alerting a T-line buy right here. 17% and MRO, I mean, if, you're, if you think oil is still going up, it's set up pretty good here. So, you know, the, the understanding price action, understanding or understanding how to read a chart, and then when we add these alerts in there, it just makes for a huge, huge benefit. Uh, as far as a trade goes, let's see, I'm going to, um, here's a nice little RBB. I don't have it marked what this is. Hmm. Darn it. Uh, nice rounded bottom breakout. So this, this blue line represents the 50 day simple. So broke out over the 50, see the pullback here, morning star signal. That is to me, that's my favorite candlestick signal, by the way. Uh, that is a buy. And as long as price actually stays above the low of that, whoops, what did I do? There it is. As long as the uh, candlestick or this pullback here stays above that morning star signal, which you can see it did, then that is totally a keeper. And then what a big chart that went up. Uh, man, I am running out of time. Um, GE, GE is one I'm still in, uh, personally still in, and uh, this, rather than pick the bottom, like I said, we're not, I'm not personally into picking bottoms, kind of embarrassing actually uh, to do that, but, you know, it rallies up, it made uh, R, R, RBB right here when it, when it moved above the 50-day simple, it pulls back and starts hammering in a bottom, constructing that bottom, all those readings there. So we bought some GE and then it's still moving up, still waiting for it to move higher. I mean, it could easily pull back. So from there, you just have to decide how you're trading. Um, uh, well, you know, what kind of trader you are. Uh, fossil, fossil, I closed out a fossil, uh, must have been Thursday maybe, um, to get the profits on the table. I wanted those locked in. And uh, all because of this T-line swing, and we had a breakout of these highs right here. I never concerned myself with the high over here. We don't have time to talk about that. Uh, here's the, the chart pattern is, is run, and then it started to consolidate and move up. When it broke out of here, that was my trigger to start buying. Uh, fossil up nice. Um, and like I say, I, I took my money off. It still looks pretty good. Uh, but I felt I needed to take take some money off the table here. Uh, let's see if you have faith uh, in the company uh, coming back, uh, GE. Yeah, I'm a swing trader, so I'm not marrying it. I didn't buy it a ring or anything. I don't even know its last name. I stick with first name basis. Uh, she can call herself Jane Doe if she wants. Uh, it's just a swing trade for me, uh, not... Like I say, I'm not marrying uh, the stock. I'm not a, I'm not a marrying type of person uh, when it comes to stock. I have a wife already, very, very much love her, so don't need another one. Okay, let's talk about this bonus material. Um, this bonus material, and then I would love to answer your question, Ron. Uh, again, you're going to receive a PDF uh, copy of my presentation here. Uh, it does take a couple days to get all this done, so don't freak out if you don't get it in 10 minutes. Uh, you will receive a recording from Jeff and Metastock. Uh, 
once everything gets all set up in a couple of days, you'll be receiving a continuation ebook. Also, information, uh, which I think, Jeff, if you have a link by any chance, um, let's see. I can put the link out here, I think, if I know how. Um, I don't know if that went to everybody or, oh, entire audience. Maybe I don't know how to do that. Maybe, oh, okay, thanks. Um, and then that's to the th free 30-day trial to hit and run candlesticks right way options. Please e email me. This is something uh, we'll discuss, but we'll talk about the 50% discount off of um, the uh, annual uh, hit and run candlesticks, 765, your cost, 382.50. Right way options, 787, your cost, 393.50 right here. So that's only good till May 23rd. So don't don't slack on that. There is no no give ins on that one right there. Now I'd love to answer the question there. Uh, why do I prefer uh, day trading to swing trading? I absolutely have an answer to that. The only people that really make money day trading. When I say really make money, um, I'm talking about I'm talking about making a living. I'm talking about buying a car. You know, I need a new boat. Uh, I'm thinking about a new Harley. You know, things like that. To make that kind of money, day trading, you have got to trade a lot of money. Going out there and putting five thousand dollars into a position or ten k into a position, you know, and Having that position move up 2%, I'm sorry. That is not going to put a, a new boat in your driveway. That's not going to put a new Dodge truck in your driveway. That's not going to get you on a vacation. It will not do it. Day traders need bigger money to day trade because this is what day traders look for, 2 3%. That's it. That's it. You want to swing trade? You're looking at double-digit money, double-digit. You're looking at 10%, 15%, 20%. That's where some money is made. Now, don't get me wrong. Somebody with 5K, 10K in a position, you can certainly make some money at 2 to 3%. But what you have to remember is you're going to have losses. I've never met a trader in my life that only takes 2 or 3% losses. So what happens is your losses are more like, whoops, that's what I wanted. Your losses are more like 5%, 7, 10 maybe. Do the math. It doesn't work out. It just doesn't work out. Even traders with big money, this is maybe what they're using as losses. But big money makes, you know, they, they can, they actually tighten that up, excuse me, tighten that up a little bit, but they make bigger money here. So there's a lot of times traders will migrate to, day trading because they they're not making it and they think it's a better way to go and folks i'm out of time i i'm pretty sure i am exactly uh, okay <laughs> so, sorry i'm sorry jeff <laughs> no that's okay we planned an intermission right after you i don't know if we were uh planning on you going long or not but uh we're good uh <laughs> so don't worry um Ram said, thank you. Your uh, presentation was very blunt and enlightening. Thank so you. Uh, a bunch of thanks in the audience. So uh, good job today. Appreciate it, Rick. Appreciate your coming out. Appreciate your time. Thank and, you, sir. Um, let's go ahead and uh, uh, um, how are we doing, guys? Um, I'm going to go ahead and change the presenter over to me now. Um, how are you enjoying the sessions today? Are we doing OK? I hope so. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, let's see here. Uh, I do want to talk just a little bit about the add-on. Uh, why? Because we worked really hard on it, and it's it's also really really good. So Rick did a bunch of talking about like his round, round, rounded bottom breakout, his T line squeeze, and his T line bounce, and his uh, pin boss setup. I was actually going to show you how that looked on the GE chart since we've been talking about GE quite a bit today. You'll notice right here uh, the add-on was calling a bit of a downtrend 
it's gone to neutral and you've got kind of like this low, slow, grindy rounded bottom breakout. Again, like we were talking about with all the other add-ons, you're going to have all, what that means over here spelled out for you on the uh, right-hand side in the commentary, uh, giving you advice uh, in Rick's very uh, uh, down-to-earth style. And uh, again, uh, just like uh, with the other add-ons that we've talked about today, there's going to be a scan that's going to allow you to go in and find, out of whatever stocks that you're interested in, uh, those patterns. So I'll just go ahead and look at the report real quick. Uh, you've got uh, a column here for the uh, the PB, the round, round of bottom breakout. There's quite a few of them today, uh, or I should say on Friday, <laughs> T-line bounces and T-line squeezes. So regardless of what you're looking for, you can go through, eliminate all of the stocks that, that don't have a pattern, uh, and just focus on the ones that do have a pattern. Um, and uh, as Rick showed you with his account statement, he's been doing very, very well with these uh, this year. And I think he said actually rounded bottom breakout is his favorite pattern, but don't take that as the gospel. I could be wrong there. In any case, um, let's go ahead and kind of get into exactly um, the issue with or the pricing on this. Uh, normally, Rick's add on is a, just a, again a one-time cost. It's cheap if it helps you make money. It's only three hundred ninety-nine dollars. Uh, if you're interested in it, you want to go uh, uh, try it out. We'll give it to you on a money-back guarantee. You can try it out. If it helps you, great. Uh, otherwise, you can't get a refund. Uh, we do ask you why you didn't like it, uh, but that's just really more so we can have some information. And sometimes it's just a technical issue, and we can help you with it. Uh, but if you if you don't like it, you can't get a refund. Uh, the webinar special today is $299. It's 1-800-882-3040 to talk to uh, one of our sales guys. Uh, I know they've been busy off and on today. It's a good opportunity with the with the break coming up to give them a call. You can also chat online if you're international. That's probably the best option, metastock.com slash sales chat. So, um, and it is part of the, of course, it's part of the Trader's Toolbox, which includes Steve Bigelow's Candle Profit System, the Veracity, uh, the Top Dog Toolkit, uh, Patterns for Profit. And uh, this afternoon, we'll have Rob Booker show us a Knoxville Divergence pattern. So, uh, as part of the toolbox, you can get all five of those add-ons. That by itself would cost you 2900 bucks. Uh, as part of that, we're going to throw in two years of Stocks and Commodities magazine. That would cost 150 bucks. A three-month subscription to Metastock real-time with the news service, Zenith. Uh, Unleash the Power of Metastock to help you get rolling with everything. Uh, training on the Steve Bigelow, uh, complete manuals for everything. A training class from Vince Vora. Uh, you know, all of that stuff, it normally costs you $4,087. You can do that as our summit special, uh, 1936. Most of that, all but the subscription costs for Metastock Zenith in real time, is covered on a money back guarantee. So I want you to feel comfortable. I want to give you a low risk opportunity. You know, we've been developing tools here at Metastock that have been helping traders for 30 years. You know, it's uh, a software program that's been rated number one in its price category every single year since like 1994, 24 years in a row now. Uh, there's a reason. It helps you with your trades. It helps you to find trades. It helps you understand what you're doing. It helps you test trading ideas. So to take advantage of that, uh, give us a call, 800-882-3040. Uh, you can visit us at metastock.com slash sales chat. Okay? And I uh, do want to thank Stocks and Commodities Magazine again. Um, uh, hopefully you signed up for your free complimentary issue. If you haven't, go do it uh, during the break. Uh, I'll paste uh, the uh, link again uh, in just a few minutes.